You know what, George? It's been a while since we've had to deal with humidity, especially with some higher temperatures, but it sounds like that's what we're experiencing or expecting for this weekend. Well, we certainly are as a preview of summer coming our way, along with some stormy weather, Elena. 13 weather ball tonight is red, warmer weather and more humid weather for the weekend ahead. It's also blinking bright showers and storms in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. Around the area, the clouds quickly increased this afternoon and some rain knocking on our doorstep off to the south and west of us. But temperature wise, we climbed up into the mid 60s this afternoon, certainly warmer than yesterday by about 10 to 15 degrees and we did stay well above freezing overnight last night in most areas. You can see some rain creeping up into parts of Van Buren County. It'll be a couple of hours before it arrives here in the greater Grand Rapids area. The parent storm with that is out here in Nebraska, where there are a number of tornado watches from Omaha all the way down to Kansas City. That warm front's going to lift through here later on tonight, bringing some showers and non severe thunderstorms, especially early tonight and again late tonight. Tomorrow, the storms will move to the east. Most of the day should be dry, but tomorrow night we're looking at this area of showers and storms that come through after about 11 o'clock in the evening and some of those could be on the strong to severe side and it will continue into Sunday morning so it will not be a washout all weekend long. Uh, the models are showing where the strongest storms could be. This is our supercell potential uh, north of Grand Rapids that will be I-96 northward into Saturday evening. Also there's a not a low not a zero but there's a low risk for a tornado also north of I-96 uh, around US 10 and points north Northward. Again, that'll be Saturday evening, and you can see our lightning model is showing up very little here tonight, but this is right around 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Those stronger storms up to the north, and then they drift down through lower Michigan later on in the evening. So wrapping it up, the damaging wind risk is not low, but it's moderate here tomorrow night into very early Sunday. Also the same for hail, not low, but moderate, and there's that low risk for a tornado north of Grand Rapids on Saturday night. Long range outlook from May 2nd through the 6th. Much of the country experiencing high chances for warmer than average temperatures here in West Michigan. We have an equal chance of seeing more or less precipitation with the main storm track off to our west. So tonight we're looking at showers and thunderstorms, non severe, low and mid 50s. That's a good 20 degrees warmer than last night. To the north, you can expect showers and thunderstorms, kind of breezy, upper 40s and low 50s. Similar here in the greater Grand Rapids area, showers already rolling through, maybe a rumble of thunder, overnight lows in the mid 50s. 13 on your side forecast. A little highlighted Saturday night with that slight risk for severe weather. Stay weather aware over the weekend. Mid and upper 70s all the way through Monday will cool off a bit with sunshine Tuesday. That may be the only sunny day next week because now we have on and off showers on the 1st of May all the way through Friday into early Saturday. Next Sunday may be dry and seasonable. You know, George, we've had a few days without rain, but it sounds like our luck is running out for, you know, those clear, maybe even pretty sunny days for this weekend. Yeah, I think we only have one sunny day coming up next week, uh, Elena. Great. We got <laughs> uh, very warm and summer like weather on the way. I think most folks are going to enjoy that over the cold, frosty weather. 13 weather ball is blinking bright showers and thunderstorms in sight. It's also red a warm and humid weekend ahead. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. Time to walk the dog. Get out quickly for Sadie because rain all evening long with a yellow paw for you, Emerald. And even in the morning, there might be a rumble of thunder rolling through at 8 a.m. And I've got a red paw for that. So get out quickly and get back inside quickly. Not as much sunshine here tomorrow as we saw early today before the clouds came in, but we will see some breaks in the clouds. 5.3 out of a 10 point scale to create green energy and the winds will be even stronger than they were today. Kind of a windy day, 8.7 out of a 10 point scale. Some light rain moving up from the southwest. There's no thunder or lightning with this at the present time. Not expecting any, but this is going to overspread the area very quickly in the next uh, several hours. The stronger storms are way back to the west around uh, Omaha down through the uh, 
Kansas City area. This is just the initial warm air coming up here into the cooler, drier air. Now overnight tonight, we have just ordinary non-severe thunderstorms expected, but that's expected to change tomorrow. Late tomorrow afternoon into the overnight hours, there's a slight risk to the north of Grand Rapids. That's two out of five with a marginal risk from Grand Rapids off to the south. The main risk will come from damaging winds. That is the second lowest on the category in the northern counties, a little bit lower here in Grand Rapids. Same risk for large hail and not a zero, but a low risk from Grand Rapids north of a possible tornado. So just stay weather aware here during the day tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow night into early, very early Sunday. Looking farther ahead at the after our 10 day outlook, we have high chances that it will stay warmer than the average highs, which are in the mid and upper 60s. We're going to be well above that this weekend and an equal or perhaps even a slightly higher chance for less precipitation during that seven day period. After what you see on the 10 day forecast, we will welcome some of that drier weather to return. A forecast for tonight, showers, non-severe thunderstorms expected. Overnight lows much warmer than last night, around 50 to 52 northern part of the Lakeshore zone, mid 50s from Muskegon and Holland southward. Northern zones, you'll see your rain showers move in later on this evening. It'll also be breezy, maybe a rumble of thunder around 49 to as low as the low 50s. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, light rain can be coming in from the southwest. Already probably raining in Allegan. It won't be too longer, much longer here in the greater Grand Rapids area with breezy conditions. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> We highlighted Saturday with that slight or category two out of five uh, severe weather risk. Most of that will be Saturday night through very early on Sunday morning. Upper 70s here tomorrow with some pockets of sunshine. It'll be humid. It'll be humid and maybe a bit of haze in the air on Sunday as we hit 79. Just some ordinary showers on Monday, still humid 76. And then there's that sunshine next Tuesday in 69. Uh, scattered showers uh, starting on the 1st of May on and off all the way through next to Saturday. Not raining all the time, but we will cool off more to seasonal highs in the low and mid 60s next weekend. Chief Meteorologist George Lessons outside on the weather deck tonight. And George, it sounds like we need to be prepared for some rainy weather for the weekend. Yeah, stormy weather, especially Saturday night. And if you're thinking about turning that air conditioning on, make sure you take the cover off your air conditioner because you might need it because it's going to be a warm and humid weekend. It's breezy here tonight out ahead of a warm front, bringing all of that warm weather in. 13 weather ball is red, warmer weather ahead. It's also blinking bright. We have showers throughout the weekend and even perhaps some stronger thunderstorms in sight. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. Warmer this morning and this afternoon. We made it up into the mid 60s this afternoon above our average high of 62 within two degrees of our forecast high. We've been on target here in the last eight days in a row now. We are tracking some light rain moving up into southwest lower Michigan. Going to be raining here in Grand Rapids within the next hour or two. The only lightning that's occurring is down south of Fort Wayne right now. A lot more active weather expected out to the west around uh, Omaha and St. Louis. You can see the showers moving into Allegan County now at this time, matching our computer model very, very closely. You'll watch this evening. The rain will dissipate and then we have some pop up showers and non severe thunderstorms rumbling on through. So it'll be a little bit noisy later on tonight in the morning. Tomorrow we'll see a round of some showers and thunderstorms roll through and then it will be quiet most of the rest of the day. The activity that we're tracking is for tomorrow night. This is going to be coming down from the northwest. See a line of some showers or perhaps some severe thunderstorms rumbling on through and then on and off throughout the night into Sunday morning before it all moves off to the east. As far as the lightning forecast, this is what's happening. This is 2 a.m. This is right around uh, about 2, 4 o'clock in the afternoon over near Toledo tomorrow afternoon. But watch this area of showers and storms coming down from the north. 10 p.m. on Saturday and then moving through the Grand Rapids area around 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning morning on Sunday and then some just some scattered activity throughout the afternoon and evening. Uh, this is where the highest potential will be 
for uh, the big thunderstorms to occur. This is a supercell potential graphic showing uh, north of about Muskegon and Fremont is where the highest potential for supercell thunderstorms will be and also the highest potential for perhaps even a tornado or two. Not so much down here in Grand Rapids, but not impossible. As far as our long range outlook, every Friday we come out with the two week forecast starting on May 11th. We have an equal chance of seeing warmer or cooler temperatures with the bullseye back to our west, but we have a higher chance of seeing less precipitation during that two week period. After the next 10 days, you'll see that will be most welcome. As far as the forecast then for tomorrow, we're looking at showers and thunderstorms. Most of them will be very early in the day and again overnight. Upper 60s north, low 70s from Holland and South Haven southward. It'll also be windy. Warm and humid up north, mid 70s, even 78 in Greenville. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we'll be in the upper 70s with morning showers and storms. And again, overnight Saturday night. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> We've highlighted Saturday with that slight or category two out of five a severe weather risk. Upper 70s both Saturday and Sunday, mid 70s on Monday with just some showers, still humid all three days. Sunny on Tuesday, a little cooler, and then some wet weather to start May, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even to Saturday, we could see some rain followed by more seasonable temperatures.